see on public Twitter or on websites is any kind of positive reporting about the ways I take care of girls when I'm there for them when nobody else is, when they come crying to me about Derek and how he treats them and all the things that happen at the, you know, that, that world. You know, me and Derek had a conversation. I said, look, sir, um, I don't know what I've done so terribly to you to have you be a personal issue or be on the HIV thing. I'd like to know. He's like, dude, you've done basically everything you could possibly ever do to have the worst possible opportunity to ever work with my girls or whatever. I don't want you to associate them with, associate with them in any way. None of them want to associate with you. And I was like, well, do you know that your girls hit me up? It's not me blowing their phones up. They hit me up mm. for driving, for errands, for hanging out, whatever. And why Sorry, wouldn't he, no. yeah, and my question would be, no, why wouldn't he I'm be not. able to provide the errands and the driving for his girls? Because, I don't know, but I'll say this, I'm one of two or three well-known independent drivers who do not work for any particular company, girl, okay. or agency. Therefore, I cannot be, you know, prevented from doing anything because I don't work for anybody. I have right. no association to have drop models. You're an independent Eric. island. That's like I'm, me. I'm an island, too. Island. I can only work myself and not have anyone say, yeah, you let me down. Like, no, I didn't. You let me down. Like, I have been given bad impressions to him by girls that I once respected and was friends with. Mm -hmm. Throw me under the bus because of the level of intimidation that he causes them. Mm. Like, Katie Jordan, her and I were the homies of homies. And then one day, she, like, hires me for a driving job. I have no idea what it's for, but I found out there's a personal audition that Derek individually set up for her. And because she chose to hire me, and then threw me under the bus saying, well, Tucker's driving me. Derek lost it. And then I'm like, what the fuck is Tucker doing with you know, And I'm like, I had no idea. I was just doing something for a friend. Like, you can't hold that against me. It is the girl associating my name with the reason that the thing that they did didn't work out. Okay. Period. And the thing is, a lot of girls of, of, of LA Direct and other agencies come to me to, to be hired because they know that I'll keep my mouth shut about their personal business. Mm -hmm. And they still do. And you know what? Here's the straight up difference between Derek and I. He owns two or three different houses. He has two or three bomb-ass cars. He has a lot of money. And he owns LA Direct Models. He's kind of the top of the food chain in that respect. Tucker Slain rents a room in a house in Northridge. He owns a Toyota Corolla. And he works periodically. Who's winning? Think about it. Well, I look at so, a person's soul. You know, it's like, what am I going to do? I'm like, I'm going to do what I can do. You know what, Tucker, day. life can change. In an instant, it really can. And you know, um, I finally sat down conversation, and I said, "Look, I, I I don't know what you want me to do at this point. I, I don't. I'm not asking you for representation. I'm not asking you to, to hire me as a driver. But basically, I hope we can move forward." We shook hands, and when I left, and Mike Moss, who I love and respect so much, great guy, dear friend. He's like, "Dude, this is the main man, and you know, this is what you got to do. Just kind of stay away." That's why last night, even though I wanted to go to that, you know, that party at uh, Playhouse, I chose not to go. I chose to do other things. Plus, I wasn't feeling very well. I thought this was the selfless thing that I decided. Same thing I did at the, the exact dimension. The women are caused drama by Derek's issue with me or issues with me. So if I do not show up and I do not try to go over and say hello to my friends, they are then not scolded or given drama from him for associating with me. Mm -hmm. So if I take myself out of the situation, the girls are saved that issue. So I thought it was like the most selfless thing I could do. Because either way, if the girl is true and a real friend, she'll last. She'll be there. She'll understand. She'll communicate with me quietly and say, hey, it's just a Derek thing. It's understood. It's whatever. Mm -hmm. Make sense? Yes. Yeah. If I was douche or selfish, I'd been like, I've been the party, being like, fuck you, and I do what the hell I want to do, and come here, girl, and come here, girl. I, I, I chose not to have them be at issue because of my instigation of it by being selfish. Mm -hmm. So I was a pretty gentlemanly thing to do. There's always been more parties. There's always more parties, more of this, more of that, whatever. This is never going to end. So that covers, I think, pretty much everything that I wanted to discuss. Um, you know, I'm. Got some big plans. Uh, my cam show is really where I'm dedicating a lot of myself to because I think that's going to be the way of the future. Mm -hmm. Again, you know, it does not pay a lot of money, but nothing really pays a lot of money at first. And unlike other cam shows, I actually pay the majority, like the vast majority of whatever we make, I pay to the girl same day okay. in cash. Okay. My only goal is that not only would she be good enough and enjoyed enough to want to work on a weekly basis or maybe a bi monthly basis, twice a month, mm -hmm. to build the fan base, build the show. But then also to brag to her next five girlfriends. Hey, I work with Tucker on his cam show. It's a great time. Well, I made a couple hundred bucks. We had a great time together. And if you're not working for a month, you might want to hit him up. Because guess what? He pays cash. Yeah. So 
Anyway, I'm healthy. I'm a happy guy. I have money in the bank. I'm not broke. Good. Good. I'm not hurting anyone. I'm not doing any drugs. I think I'm you're all right. Up. I think you're an all right kind uh -huh. of guy. Uh, and I really uh, I'm going to... No, 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 no. I'm never going to win everybody. I know. I learned that now. Do you, have, do you know how many enemies I have? I have so many enemies. <laughs> but I love it. But it's a good, it's sometimes it's, at, with every person who's going to hate you, there's going to be someone that's going to be just the opposite and love you. And it sounds like you do have a heart. It sounds like you have a soul, which is rare in the entertainment industry, not just adult, but entertainment. I think that I if think that you choose to stay an adult, you'll go very far and you'll do well. Maybe you'll, you'll choose to go into music. Maybe you'll do something else. Who knows? But I think that I, I, I think that um, this interview is really going to show people what I see. I wish that this webcam wasn't so choppy. You know, it's, but the audio will be very good. Well, I truly hope that. Uh, I'm going to send you a PDF copy of this to give to some girls because... Uh, right on. Oh, another thing that I've done. Many, like many times that. that I've driven girls. I was at a Hollywood party one night that I worked, and they, it was for L'Oreal, and they gave us a big old box of, of free, uh, like the new season's makeup. Okay. And almost every girl that I've driven since that party, I've been like, hey, here's the two colors of that brand new makeup. Would you like some free makeup? Like, oh my God, thank you. Sure, right on, cool. They're like, wow, Tony, you're so, you're so sweet. And I'm like, hey, I'm just... Maybe you've had a hard time makeup. because you are very nice. You know, sometimes when other guys... I mean, the, a lot of guys in this industry try to run so many games on so many girls. And sometimes when they see that you might be a hindrance to that game, they will, you know, bully you. It sounds like you've been a bit bullied. Really, I, I have been. It's, it's yes. been a long time because I've, I've been that nice guy who was always just a friend. And you know, this industry has allowed me to shine in some ways, some good, some bad. But I'm pretty proud of the work that I've done. I've done some great scenes. I've had a lot of fun. I've lived the dream. Uh, yeah, I, I, I can say I've had two foursomes. Both of them were fuck team five scenes uh, with girls that were phenomenally beautiful. I mean. There's a lot of things that I've been able to accomplish in this business that I'll always be able to say, I did that, and guess what? I got paid for it. Like, oh, my God, that's incredible. And, you know, that's why I'll never be a crossover talent. I'm never going to go into anything other than a straight business because it is beyond money. It's not about money. I want to make this clear. For me, I'm told this for many people, I'm a rock metal musician. How would you think it would ever be interpreted by a bus full of dudes that I'm on tour with when I, you know, get to a band or become successful or whatever and I'm trying to build a band? If they ever found out that I ever did any kind of buy or gay porn, yeah, think about that for a minute. I mean, the rock metal community is raw. You know, they're like they someone are should people. follow you and make a movie about you moving from porn to music. If I have money, I would do it because oh, that would be so interesting. One of the reasons I got closely connected originally by uh, with Chris Evans and Alana Evans is because Chris, the dude, like I just want to make a reality show about you and your life. Like you're just this unique. Guy. You are. You're, you're like a, you're, you're a such a character. I mean, but it's real. But I mean, your energy just comes through the screen. It's crazy. Like when I'm PAing on the set, when I'm productionally assisting, you know, I'm like fifty bucks, hundred bucks, whatever. Work is work, as they say. You know, I will be dedicated, and I'll say I'm in PA mode. I'm not in performer mode. Therefore, I'm not like hitting on the girls or trying to, you know, bang them on the side or the bathroom and whatnot, which I know happens on a lot of sets. I go into PA mode. I'm like, okay, you're about to do a scene. You need any uh, wet wipes? Do you need baby wipes? Do you need douche? Do you need lube? Do you need a towel? What do you need? I am your go-to guy. What do you need? Because it shows that girl. Wow. I don't know who this guy is, or oh, he's a male talent, he's not trying to fuck me, he's not trying to talk dirty to me, he's not trying to be hitting on me, he's trying to help me be the professional that I've been hired to be for the greater production. Mm -hmm. Period. That's my job. <laughs> if they choose to have a conversation otherwise, I entertain that, and we exchange numbers and whatnot, because like I said, no girl doesn't know what she doesn't ask about. Or she doesn't involve herself with this. I say, hey, I got this option, this option, this option. Cool. I'm interested. I think cool. that you really right are too here. professional for porn, to be honest with you. Uh, I've been actually told by a lot of female talent over the years that I'm not better, but that I'm just, that this business you're is You're on a different like level. Here, and I'm just, I'm just on a different level. Yes, yeah, so you, you are. You're, you're on a different level. level. But I personally would and like to see porn become... It. The, you know the level that you are that, that you live on you know I, I, I when I came into when I came to porn I had a specific vision and ideal 
and I wouldn't let anybody treat me below what I felt I should be treated, and I treat other people the way I felt I should be treated. But the problem is, in this in this industry, you have so many people with such low self-esteem, a low self-esteem worth, to where the only way that they can feel better about themselves is by treating somebody else like 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 the dirt on your shoe. So, but I think that you're going to do well. I think that if you choose to stay an adult, you will survive. Mm -hmm. I think you'll survive, and I think that you'll end up doing oh, no, something no, very interesting. Sure. There, there, there's one root rule of porn that I've learned. I even was talking to Mark about this the other day. I said, Mark, who are we trying to work with and talk to and hang out with and bang three months ago? Mm -hmm. We looked at each other. We didn't know. Six months ago. A year ago. We couldn't name names. I mean, mm -hmm. we, we thought of a couple, but we're like, wow. The reality of porn. Women are one blunt, harsh word. Recyclable. There's always another ten blondes. There's always another ten brunettes. Reliable male talent lasts forever. That's why the guys that were in ten years ago, depending on how much they work now, and there are newer guys, but guys last. This directors always appreciate a guy that can get it up, keep it up, and pop. That's the job. Period. Mm. And ninety percent of it is right here. And I have had my good days and my bad days. And my God, the job is a job. It is work. Do not let anyone fool you. This is not fun all the time. Yes, you are having sex and you're getting paid for. But there are times when I'm, you know, doing like, you know, this position and over here <laughs> doing garbage and like, oh my God, can you see? Okay, is the angle good? And I'm just like. Dude, I don't want to fuck like that, but you know, you got to do that. I mean, there, when I got done with my scenes in Miami, it was I did a girl's first anal for Molly Madison, which ranked in like the 95, 95th percentile. It had more hits in one than any scene in their recent history. I had like 700,000 hits. When I got done popping, I fell off the bed and didn't move for 15 minutes. I was physically completely done. Wow. Another video. I'm going to start making these videos routinely, you know? This video is about public figure, the failed, famous, famous failed school teacher that got arrested on school grounds for not stopping for a school bus in Quiet Waters Elementary King lot. Yeah. And her daughter, famous public figure, got laughed off the stage and is a famous laughing stock on American Idol that is now a prostitute down, a, or should I say a failed prostitute, uh, down in Bard and Los Olas. Yeah. So, Susan Wojcicki and your minion of gay mafia, don't pull this video down. These are public figures. I'll be putting them all over the internet anyway. Anyways, I'm, you know, sick and tired of for the last 10 plus fucking years hearing about the stalking, harassment, libel, defamation, and death threats, empty, cowardly death threats from your computer, you know, from your other daughter that your first daughter, or, or second daughter, should I say, Vic Bond, Alexandra Melody Mayers, famous public figure, a.k.a. failed porn star Monica Foster. Yeah, of Alexandra. She sits all day and night on her Twitter, her YouTube, her blogs, and all her bullshit, making death threats to me and thousands of other people, stalking, libeling, terrorizing people on the Internet, including on YouTube, everywhere. And because she's black... And because she's LGBT, she's in that protected class. So no matter what you say, do, or report about her, it never gets taken down. If anything else, you get banned from the platform. It's completely ridiculous. And I've had it. I'm going to start plastering these videos all over the internet with titles about the criminals that they are funding, housing, feeding, and supporting this woman's crimes online. We're all sick of it. Get the woman mental help. She needs it. Everybody knows it. You know it. Stop funding it and get her mental help. We're not going to put up with this shit anymore. The next thing I'm going to do is start making videos 
about all your neighbors. That's what I'm going to start doing to, with titles of their first and last name. And on other platforms other than YouTube, I'll put their address where the Game Mafia behind YouTube won't pull them down. So keep it up, Alex, or should I say paying and funding and supporting this terrorism of your your daughter and sister, Alexandra. We're going to give you a taste of your own medicine. We're tired of it. Get the woman locked in a mental ward where she belongs and get her mental help. She needs mental help.